New details at four about the drowning of a five-year-old boy at a Central Florida water park. Today we are learning more about what happened minutes before the boy was pulled from the water. Caden Lawson died on Saturday at the Daytona Lagoon, which is located off Earl Street in Daytona Beach. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us live outside the water park tonight. And Troy, take us through what happened. Well, Ginger, paramedics say that when they arrived out here, a witness and a lifeguard told them that they had already started CPR on the young boy. And we're also learning more details about how the boy's parents say they lost sight of him when he was inside of the wave pool. Just like that, they can be, you know, gone. Parents outside Daytona Lagoon reacting to Saturday's drowning of five-year-old Caden Lawson. Seen here in a photo on his family's GoFundMe page. That's why I came today. I was going to let him come with my son and daughter, you know, but I want to come to the extra eye. You can never have enough eyes on the kids. Right. Daytona Beach police say Lawson's parents told them they last saw the child inside the wave pool alongside his older brother on Saturday afternoon. When they lost sight of him, his dad thought he got out of the pool and went over to the children's playground. But once they couldn't find him in that area, they walked back to the wave pool to see the young boy being administered CPR. Witnesses telling paramedics Lawson might have been under the water for as long as five minutes. And then we seen like the ambulance on the other side. Asia Robinson says she was inside the water park at the time and saw all of the commotion. We had like a lot of kids with us, so like we were kind of afraid and my nephew was there and so we didn't know what to do and what was going on. Law enforcement says Lawson was pronounced dead at the hospital. We just all got out because it was too, it was sad and then we just left. I spoke with the general manager here and he says that they're actually offering up grief counselors to any employees who need to speak with somebody after what happened. Also, Daytona Beach police tell us at this point there are no charges against the parents. They're not facing any charges saying that this all appears to have just been a horrible accident. Live in Daytona Beach, Troy Campbell, Getting Results News 6. Troy, thank you.